सर्वांना नमस्कार आजच्या भागामध्ये आपण इलेक्ट्रोड पोटॅन्शियल म्हणजे काय ऑक्सिडेशन पोटॅन्शियल आणि रिडक्शन पोटॅन्शियल म्हणजे काय हे बघणार आहोत सो इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस वॉट इज मीन बाय इलेक्ट्रोड पोटॅन्शियल अकॉर्डिंग टू द नट्स थिअरी सो दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल नाव लेट इज डिस्कस दिस कन्सेप्ट इन डिटेल सो द इलेक्ट्रोड पोटॅन्शियल दिस वर्ड इज कम्प्राइज ऑफ टू वर्ड्स इलेक्ट्रोड अँड अ पोटॅन्शियल सो वॉट इज द इलेक्ट्रोड इलेक्ट्रोड इज अ मेटल रॉड डीप इन इट्स आयोनिक सोल्युशन ओके सच ॲज इट इज रिप्रेझेंटेड ॲज कॉपर इन कॉपर टू प्लस इलेक्ट्रोड सो दिस सिंगल व्हर्टिकल लाईन रिप्रेझेंट दॅट ओके दिस कॉपर इज अ मेटल अँड दिस सिंगल व्हर्टिकल लाईन शोज दॅट दिस कॉपर मेटल इज इन कॉन्टॅक्ट विथ इट्स कॉपर आयन सोल्युशन झि झिंक इज इन कॉन्टॅक्ट विथ झिंक सल्फेट सोल्युशन ऑर झिंक आयन सोल्युशन सिमिलरली द कॅडमियम इज कॉन कॉन्टॅक्ट विथ द कॅडमियम टू प्लस सो दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रोड इलेक्ट्रोड इज नथिंग बट द मेटल रॉड विच इज इन कॉन्टॅक्ट विथ इट्स आयोनिक सोल्युशन वॉट इज द पोटॅन्शियल इट इज जस्ट नथिंग बट फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल डबल लेअर अराउंड द इलेक्ट्रोड वी विल सी इन डिटेल शॉर्टली so potential is nothing but formation of the electrical double layer so the electrode potential is formed because of two process electronation process and deelectronation process of the electrode so what is the deelectronation or electronation process so let us see in detail now this is the deelectronation process okay deelectronation means the oxidation d means loss okay oxidation so zinc undergoes oxidation and it forms zn2 plus and two electrons similarly cadmium it will form cadmium 2 plus and two electron so when let us say this is the zinc electrode when we dip this zinc metal in its ionic solution this is the zinc sulfate solution okay just we have seen this diagram okay this is the half cell and in this half cell this zinc metal is deep in its ionic solution this is the zinc sulfate solution okay now what happens here you can see that the zinc way as soon as you dip this zinc electrode in the ionic solution then the zinc atom which are present at the surface of this electrode will enter into the solution leaving behind the electrons and this electron will travel into the solution so more amount of zinc atom which are present at the surface will enter into the solution so this plus sign shows the zinc atom and zinc atom will leave the electron behind so this tendency of zinc metal to enter into the solution and form the cations and leaving behind electron on the metal electrode is called as the solution pressure is called as the solution pressure so this is the spontaneous tendency of this zinc metal to enter into the solution in the form of cation leaving behind the electron on the metal surface so more amount of zinc atom will enter into the solution and it will form the zinc zn2 plus so cations are increased so positive charge in the solution will be increased now so as to balance the uh, positive charge excess positive charge okay so there will be, there will be the balance between electrostatic forces and th there is the formation of this electrical double layer and this is called as the potential okay this is called as the electrode potential so in words we can say when a metal is brought in a contact with its ionic solution then certain metal shows a tendency to enter into the solution in the form of cations or we, uh, we call this as a positive ions leaving behind the electron on the metal surface due to this metallic electrodes becomes negatively charged here the metallic electrodes become the negatively charged such tendency of metal is known as solution pressure and it is shown by the symbol capital p and at the suffix there is a small s now due to the electrostatic forces further transfer of metal ion in the solution is prevented and an electrical double layer is formed at the electrode okay and this is called as the potential or we can say the potential is generated at the electrode so 
Some metals show a tendency to enter into the solution in terms of the cations leaving behind the electron and this tendency of metal is called as the solution pressure. So as to balance this positive excess positive charge and electrical double layer is set up around this electrode and this electrode become negative why because more negative charge is left on the electrode and zinc atom will go into the solution in terms of the cations. So only remember what is meant by solution pressure the tendency of metal ion to enter into the solution in the form of cation and leaving behind the electron on the metal electrode is called as solution pressure. Now here the potential is generated because of which reaction because of the de-electronation or the oxidation reaction. So the potential generated or electrical double layer form is called as oxidation potential. Now next process is the electronation just reverse of the de-electronation. Electronation means what is happening here this copper ion Cu2 plus is getting reduced it is combining with two electron and it is forming the copper metal ion okay this is copper metal ion so in general the mn plus this is the metal it will uh, reduce it will consume n electron it will form the m this is called as reduction or it is called as the electronation now here it is just opposed opposite to that of the de-electronation now here in this diagram you can notice that Okay, this is the second half cell and this copper electrode is deep in its copper sulfate solution or Cu2 plus solution. So the metal electrode when deep in its ionic solution then it is called as the metal sorry the metal which is deep in its ionic solution is called as the electrode. So here you can you can notice that the copper ion in the solution will get attracted towards this copper electrode and here it will get reduced okay here it will get reduced leaving behind the electrons so the positive ions from this solution okay will gets attracted towards the electrodes and it will get deposited on the electrode so our electrode the metal rod will gets positively charged now this tendency of metal ions or cations to deposit on the metal electrode leaving behind the electron in the solution is called as osmotic pressure is called as the osmotic pressure now due to electro electrostatic forces okay the electro electrical double layer is set up around this electrode and it is called as the potential or reduction potential so in words when a metal is deep in its ionic solution example copper in copper sulfate solution or silver in silver nitrate solution then the cation in the solution shows a tendency to deposit on the metal surface this tendency of metal ion is known as osmotic pressure okay this osmotic pressure means solution madle cations kay hotat electrode varti deposit hotat ani electrons kay karatat maga sodtat so here tendency lapan kai muntot osmotic pressure and the different metal have different osmotic pressure similarly in de-electronation different metals have different solution pressure due to osmotic pressure the positive ions here say copper ions gets deposited on the copper metal electrode <coughs> and its connection in the solution sorry its concentration in the solution decreases so more negative charge is developed in the solution and more positive charge is developed on the electrode so as to balance this electrostatic forces and electrical double layer is formed on the electrode the formation of electrical double layer due to reduction process or electronation process is called as electronation sorry reduction potential and it is due to here what is the reduction okay the, this is not the oxidation oxidation it, here word is the reduction okay and it is called as reduction and when it is due to oxidation then it is called as the oxidation potential now let us summarize so <coughs> this is the solution pressure greater than osmotic pressure then de-electronation takes place and when the solution pressure is lesser than osmotic pressure then electronation takes place and when both are equal then there is no 
oxidation or reduction takes place so this is called as a null reaction and electrode is called as the null electrode okay so first condition when solution pressure is more than at osmotic pressure solution pressure means tendency of metal ion to go into the solution in the form of cations leaving behind the electrons is called as solution pressure osmotic pressure tendency of cations in the solution to deposit on the metal electrode leaving behind electrons in the solution is called as osmotic pressure okay when it is great osmotic pressure is greater than sorry solution pressure is greater than osmotic pressure then the deelectronation that is oxidation is favored and potential developed will be oxidation potential that is electrode will be oxidation electrode so this negative electrode is a oxidation electrode second osmotic pressure is greater than solution pressure so when osmotic pressure is more than solution pressure then the electronation is favored and potential developed will be reduction potential and electrode will be called as reduction electrode so this is a general electro uh, reduction reaction and last one is when the osmotic pressure and solution pressure both are equal then what happens no electronation and deelectronation reaction takes place and it will have no potential on it so such electrodes are called as null electrodes such electrode are called as null electrode so one mark question in mcq will be asked okay or it may ask so the null, null electrode is okay option will be ps is equal to p0 ps less than p0 ps greater than p0 and none of the above so thank you for watching this session